Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm bringing you a new mining pool to check out for yourself. The, uh, this mining pool actually got a hold of me via email and asked me if I could do like a review and an overall look at the pool and bring it to your guys' attention because obviously it fits my audience and things of the sort. And I couldn't agree more. Obviously, just being a mining channel and such, I'm always looking for other mining pools, different coins of mine, tutorials, things of the sort, news, you know, all types of stuff. So I'm glad they got a hold of me so we can go ahead and check this out. And this is going to be for lower end graphics cards as well. So two gigabyte and you could do three gigabyte and higher. And there's a variety of different coins you can go ahead and mine. It's a nice clean setup. So let's just go take a look at it here and I'll show you how to get set up in mining here and all their payouts and things of the sort. So once you do load up the pool here, you're going to come to this website here and this is going to be the main page you come to. Overall, like I said, it's a nice clean setup. It's laid out very nicely. But as we see up top here, this is the coins that they do have. So Ethereum POW, Ethereum Classic, Ravencoin, Ergo, uh, UBQ, and Monero. So there's a good handful of coins here. They're most of them are solid projects. Ethereum POW has always kind of been questionable, but I'm not going to get much into that. I just wanted to go over these coins and show you guys what like options they do have for mining. And this will be right on the homepage here. And if you scroll down a little more, they have a little more information about the pool. So they do stable payouts, complete anonymity. anonymity. I have trouble pronouncing that, but it, you stay completely anonymous withdrawal to wallet so you can withdraw to your own wallet whichever app or wallet you do have set up and the reward system is pps plus so i'm pretty sure it's pay per share plus so like a reward bonus as well so you get a pretty solid payout instead of like the normal pplns which is i forget what that stands for but it's a lower payout rate because it's per like block and stuff you find this one's every share you submit you're getting paid for it so as we see, Cryptex PPS Plus pools are better than anything you've tried. Cryptex pools use PPS Plus payout scheme that pays you regularly, while other pools with PPLNS pay only when they find blocks. So like I mentioned, that this is a better payout system, so obviously it could be a potential better pool because you're actually being paid more in the end of things. With Cryptex pool, you can enjoy honest and predictable income. And you always will have 100% luck because their pools are built up as we see the active miners. They have quite the amount of miners for being a relatively newer pool from what I could understand. And if you scroll down here, you can use their Telegram and they have like a Telegram bot and things of the sort. So that way you can go ahead and ask it questions or if you need help, it will redirect you to certain things. So it's good to see that they have the communication and you can message them directly if there's any issues going on or if you have any trouble or you can send them an email. And then share knowledge, ask questions. There's a whole knowledge base. So as we see here, they have just the normal frequently asked questions and things of the sort. And you can access that by coming to the top and clicking the support button here. And this is going to bring you to their knowledge base. So there's a whole bunch of frequently asked questions, questions about the connection, mining, payouts, security, things of the sort. And you can scroll through and you're able to find answers if you are having trouble with getting set up or if you have any issues after following this video. And there's some like connection issues or anything of the sort. These articles should be able to help you. Or if you have any questions about the payout scheme, the security of things, anything on the left hand side here. This is a good thing. They have, like I said, the open telegram. So it's good they have the communication that way. And they also have the knowledge base, which is also good to have. It seems like it's a very solid pool overall. I've tried it a little bit and I've had pr uh, pretty good success with it. Everything's been stable and running fine. So now we'll look into setting up a coin. And this all depends on what uh, graphics card you have and what algorithm you want to mine. So let's say you want to mine Ethereum Classic. You come over to the Ethereum Classic coin here. It shows how much hash rates on the pool and then the minimum payout is 0.002 ethereum classic the max payout is 10 ethereum classic and there's 956 active miners on here so what you want to do for example like i said if you want to mine etc you click start mining here and it's going to bring you to this page and it's going to give you all the information we just went over so if you want to set up your own like bat or command file bat file whatever you want to call it here's all the pool information so there's your stratum url there's your port and then the format, so wallet slash worker. But to make it easy, they have a nice tutorial system kind of going on here. So create a wallet for your coin. We recommend Trust Wallet like I have in the past, Coinami or MetaMask. Trust Wallet is better if you are using like a smartphone or just a burner phone or something of the sort. Coinami and MetaMask are good for on the computer themselves. So once you get a wallet set up, you want to get the Ethereum Classic wallet. 
and then you want to get your wallet address and then once you have that you can set it aside for now or just save it for after and then you want to download a miner so depending what operating system you're on and things of the sort that always comes into play i'm using windows here but they have a prepared list of the most popular miners choose the most suitable one for you so t-rex phoenix g minor nb lol team red miner it also depends what brand of graphics card you have if you have nvidia or amd but for example you click t-rex miner and it's going to bring you down uh, to the download page here and it's going to give you all the pros and cons and list of coins and algorithms it does mine so that's nice to see because this seems to be right on the cryptex website if i'm not mistaken it almost seems like they set this up because i haven't seen this page really before but it's a nice little touch if they did and it shows everything and all the fees and supported gpus so all i want to do is scroll down to the bottom click download and then windows or linux and we'll just download the windows one here i'm just going to download this to show you guys how to get this set up and going so we'll let it download there and then it's going to say maybe like harmful and stuff, but all you do is click keep, keep anyway. And then what you want to do is go over to where you downloaded it. And then you right click and then 7-zip or WinRAR, whichever you have, and extract to then the folder name. And then you want to click the start menu, come to the settings, and then go to update and security. And then you go to Windows security, virus and threat protection. You want to scroll down to manage settings under virus and threat protection settings. And then you want to scroll down a little more to exclusions, add or remove an exclusion. Click yes on the pop-up. Click add an exclusion, add a folder, wherever you did download the miner. So T-Rex miner is under my downloads. You double click the folder and click select folder. And this will allow it through like the firewall and the virus and things like that. Just because it's not a verified publisher, so Windows thinks it's a virus. But I can't say 100% if it's virus free or not. But so far over my years of mining, I haven't had any troubles. So all you do is add it as an exclusion. And then you open that folder. And as you see, it has the algorithms and everything of the sort. And I believe it is already set up with the pool. Let's see. Yeah, so it's already set up with Crypt uh, Cryptex here. So all you do, like I said, is just download whichever corresponding miner. You can edit your own uh, data for the bat file. So if you want to have a certain worker name and wallet, it'll give you the format and which miner you're using. So we'll just put worker and then we'll just put random numbers here and stuff just because I don't have the wallet set up. And then we go to T-Rex. So as we see here, it spits out the command file. So all you would do, or sorry, and then you would put slash and then I think it already pulls the worker name so you don't have to worry about adding like the actual worker name so all i do is copy that go to whichever coin you're mining edit and then you would paste that in from the stratum on so as we see here you can just edit it in the batch file or command file as well so if you want to do ethereum classic raven coin whichever one through their website all you would do is change it to your corresponding wallet address here and then after the slash you'd put your worker name and then password you leave as x and all I do is click file, save, and then all you would do is double click on it and it should fire up and start mining for you. And then once you are mining, you come up here and put your mining address at the top here and it should bring you to the dashboard and it'll show you like your current rewards, your payouts, you know, things, all the information about your mining rig. I'm just not on my mining rig right now, so I'm not able to actually fire up the mining or anything. So that's just how you would do it. And then they also have ASIC compatible pools. So if you are using an ASIC miner, you can go ahead and set that up almost the same way, just through your ASIC mining uh, IP address and things of the sort. And then this does work on like Minerstat OS or Hive OS, things like those uh, operating systems as well. So no matter what operating system you are using, you can find a way to mine to this pool if you are interested. It works on all the operating systems. If you are using like Hive OS or if you are using... Um, minor stat os you would just edit your worker config in the same way you would enter the pool information and then the wallet and worker name it would be the same type of deal just on your actual operating system or through like a url that you have set up so like i said there's different options it's good to see it's overall like i said it's solid pool it seems like i've used it for a little bit and it's worked if you are on like a budget and you have lower end cards two gigabyte cards will work if you are a cpu miner there's monero that's the only one they have it seems to be the best for CPU mining, even lower end CPUs. But if you have three gigabyte and up, there's Ergo, Ravencoin, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum POW. So, and they all have different minimum payouts. So, Ethereum POW 0.1, Ethereum Classic 0.002, Ravencoin's 10, Ergo's 1, UBQ's 1, Monero 0.01. 
So they're not relatively like high payouts, but they're not like really low payouts at the same time. But it makes it worth it with the transaction, so that way you're not losing as much in the transaction fees and things of the sort. It makes it worth it for the pool to pay out. But yeah, overall, I recommend giving this pool a try if you are interested. Like I said, it's a better payout system and things of the sort. And if you do have lower end equipment, this is a good pool for you as well, because there are lower end algorithms on here, as I mentioned already in this video. But yeah, that's all I wanted to bring for you guys today. If you did enjoy this video or this review, make sure that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you are enjoying my content. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.